What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we got some more free-to-play action going on. I luckily, super luckily, uh, did one refresh, so I spent like 200 gems, and I managed to hit my second 7-star quest. That's going to do two things for us. Number one, uh, of course, we're still in our first month of monthly, so that'll complete this out completely, which is nice to see. Uh, most everything else is done. What it's also going to let us do, and actually we have a lot of progression here today as far as gems go... Can claim all this stuff out all this stuff out again and then we have a couple things here so we should be reach settlement uh a third settlement to neutral the forest one uh in another day or two and then of course we'll get the seven star quest tomorrow which means that's done and then beyond that is just progressing the campaign which is going to be a slow slow burn what that means is there is one more pack available it is for gear if i need the gear i will do it however i don't think we necessarily will need to again the biggest thing that's going to be slowing us down is waiting for more hero copies <laughs> like legit we're just going to be sitting here waiting for a single dominator copy for a while we might get lucky but we probably will not uh so we're probably in a hold pattern right now because we're also not doing uh we're not like buying daily cores we're just getting them wherever we can because we kind of want to save some gems up and have some things that we can do one thing i've been considering is upgrading this gear and getting more stats on our hero so if we do come over to uh gray dwarf's blessing we need to go to a class suit of gear, and we do need to go to a ranger set. However, again, gold is one of the biggest issues here. So again, we have the gems, we have everything else. Gold is holding us back. So for the meantime, we're going to stick with what we have. But I did manage to high roll, and we do have a soul stone for attack block, which is amazing. I did upgrade our skin up to legendary. I don't know if I talked about that in the last one. Uh, and yeah, everything else is going pretty smooth. Again, levels are a little little behind here, uh, and it's mainly due to resources. Have managed to hit another ticks and another carry copy. So we have a lot of good support heroes on our team now, and we are really close to even beating 595 Valkyrie Wave that is really difficult. So overall, we are making amazing progress. The next thing we need to do, see how far we can push here. We got up to 19 the other day. Honestly, I, I imagine this is going to go extremely well for us. Like, it doesn't really even matter who else we put in here. We can put a couple camas in. This should be a very, very easy clear. And it's all thanks to the treasure train that we've gotten the past couple of weeks with all the holidays. It's been really good. And, uh, yeah. I think we can do 20. Oh, geez. This is really... This is close. Luckily, the ghost is on the boss monster. I think we're good because the only round we have to worry about when they all have actives, like next round. But I think we win. <laughs> so we do have a C lane 20 already complete and done. I do not think we can go any further than that right now. 20 seems like it would be a little difficult, but if she does have the survivability, that would be cool. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. That's way too much damage. But what we do need to do... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we, need, we need to burn every one of our attempts for two reasons. And I highly suggest you do this on your free-to-play accounts too. Make sure you're using every single battle, smash, and attempt you can on a daily basis. Because one thing you should be doing, and I am paired up with one of our older accounts, is we are doing uh, the comeback radio. We're sharing that with one of our old accounts. Because remember, comeback radio got reset on like a lot of accounts here. And if you've been AFK on it, you can get some pretty good stuff done. Now, we have to wait for Interdimensional Arena, and we have to wait for Tree Team Battle this week, but uh, we've been doing this stuff here, so we need more Brave Points and stuff. If you guys don't know how to get them, right there, Brave Trial, uh, Campaign, Void Campaign, Auto Battle, all that fun stuff. Uh, it's going to be a little slow on our end here, but yeah. There's also, of course, the Sea Land. This is the one that you really need to focus on here is getting all those grinding in. Uh, yeah, this is another one I need to do over here is all the guild bosses and then everything else we've already done on the other side making five star heroes making six star heroes We just need to slowly do that over here now as well make more nine star heroes and a ten star hero And then maybe just maybe we high roll and get something pretty cool. So not too bad another little accomplishment here <sighs> So this right here is a smash and grab in the meantime because you guys know we're at death one going past death one is very very difficult right now 
uh we need more power on our account really the only thing we're looking for right now are wishing coins and if there's no wishing coins uh no great deal so yeah wishing coins are the one thing we are purchasing here don't really need anything else right now at least for gold again gold is kind of holding us back progression wise too but again we come up against waves like this there's just no way that we're gonna win we're gonna get absolutely obliterated by reflect armor and the Amon Ra's are gonna slowly finish us off probably. Well, okay, that that actually went better than I was expecting. We can probably get a little progression here maybe. It depends on the waves we face. This, this right here is a bad wave. <laughs> oh my gosh. This one could be sketchy. Um, we do best against quad waves, of course. Oh wow, we are a lot tankier than I thought we would be in this scenario. I kind of like the way this is going here. Okay, wow. Maybe we can get to like death 50 or something. There's a lot of death 100s already. We're much lower level though. This could be a sketchy wave too because I think Sigmunds have precision. If they get around our block. That means we're not going to deal damage. We're not going to heal. But it looks like we're okay. Yeah, see, like, we just, <laughs> all those attacks were just, like, oh, they were really bad. Uh, Ada is the biggest counter to our hero, which it might be a little difficult here. Yeah, I think we just died to Ada, honestly. Ada's just, like, such a hard counter to our Eloise. Next time we use our active, we just die. Oh, wait! We lived! Oh my god! I thought we were dead for sure. Well, okay. Maybe it's not too bad. Uh, maybe should use energy here because now we're going to go into Amon Ra's shields. No, never mind. It's fine. It's cool. We're good. <laughs> this is the furthest we've been. Uh, this is. Oh, wait, no. <gasps> no, back on my birthday, I got to 10. Oh, this one looks sketchy. Uh, I'm actually going to use an active skill here. I'm using a demon potion. Oh, good. We hit the eight early. All these should be pretty simple battles here. Don't know how we do one versus one against a Valkyrie. My goodness. If we get to death 50 today, that would actually be a huge accomplishment. Luckily, this like dot isn't like considered a dot in some scenarios, or at least not as like a bleed or something, so it does work against certain heroes. My god, we are just facing some of the most difficult waves over and over here. Like, these are by far some of the worst we've seen. Oh god, please Asmos, don't kill me. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Okay. Whew. Whew. Okay, this is another tough one. But again, we just need to like dodge. Or not dodge, we need to block a couple hits and we'll be okay. Surprisingly didn't take much damage. And now we have full maxed out potions as well. This one sounds sketchy as well. If anything, we might run out of healing uh before we finish this out now luckily we can get to counterattack all of these the first round even if we do get twined only a couple survive and then they die to our dot all right let's go let's go um i think we're fine here again whenever i see valkyrie in pve modes i just get scared immediately now i know the old versions weren't that difficult but uh sometimes they can be pretty difficult <laughs> They can get a little sketchy. Hoping I don't, oh God, that was actually kind of risky. Uh, let's go back up. Again, most of these waves here are not going to be an issue actually. There's just certain ones that are a little questionable. Now, luckily we do have the speed advantage against these enemies, so that is really nice to see. We could get to purgatory, that would be really cool. DA should not be an issue. A little Valkyrie will do like one healing potion, but again, should not be an issue. Whoo! 
That HP bar disappeared real, disappeared real quick. Starlight has a lot of burst damage, but yeah, I feel like we can heal back up after that. This is a risky wave. I'm going to use another demon potion here just because uh, if we do get CC'd and the Valkyries are alive, they could shred us to pieces. Just want as many counterattacks as possible right out of the gate. Weaken them. Oh no, we had to use our active. That feels so bad. It's fine. It's a starlight. It's a starlight. Again, lots of burst damage here. Yikes. Um, okay, let's keep going. I was not expecting to do this well here, but I guess we did get a decent bump in power. We do have an active, which is perfect timing for this wave. This is probably one of our more dangerous waves. This and probably Quad Ada are like the worst waves we could face, I'd say. Oh, that feels bad. We just use our active into Amon Ra shield. We're dead. We're so dead. There's no way we do enough damage now. And then we use our active skill and we die from the mark from Ada. I mean, that was good. That was still really good progress, but not exactly what I wanted to see here. Now, again, the one thing we have to do is make sure we're going to the leaderboard every day. Clicking these thumbs up, getting 30 more gems. Even though we can't participate, we can still hit that leaderboard. And besides that, uh, yeah, we're not really doing anything. I ended up using some profit orbs this week just to finish out uh, the chapter system. There was one chapter we needed to do it right here. I guess we could have waited, but I figured if we do it during this week, we'll at least get like some bonuses. So it's like not the worst case scenario. Uh, but yeah, nothing else is going to be done. We have Fantasy Factory, which I don't even know if we're going to buy the extra stuff. We'll see. It is nice that maybe getting to 100 points would net us some like, resources, but it's not like we do it. We could always start upgrading our carry, but uh, until we have a V4... So we have a V4 hero, keeping them as five stars, I feel like is the much better option. So we have three carries, we got an Ignis and two ticks. So really solid support all around and I'm really, really liking it. So that is the update on the free to play account. We'll continue grinding this up slowly, but surely. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.